Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog and welcome to yet another gorgeous day. The work truck feels are real today. I've honestly been really enjoying the 35 inch Ridge Grapplers on the 20 inch factory Denali wheels. It's so funny. I think about it as I'm driving. I'm like the 14 wide guy. I absolutely love 14 wides. I'm not going to lie. I actually miss the 14 wides more than having the factory Ridge Grapplers on the truck. But the reason that I have them on, if you didn't catch the message, is because I've been doing a lot of traveling at the end of this year of 2022. And truthfully, I've been taking the truck to the airport and I don't want to do it with 14 wides. A, parking gets really tight. B, we're in a foreign destination that I'm leaving my truck. And C, forged wheels are quite expensive and you kind of catch my drift. I don't want to take the risk. However, this is the first time that I've connected the truck to the trailer in a full work truck vibe. And dude, it's real. I'm kind of liking it a lot. Now, unfortunately, the battery on the Diamond C continues to die. That's because hydraulic motor for the tilt deck does consume quite a bit of voltage. A little quick check here. Locked in, locked down, ready to rock and roll. Today, we are headed down to pick up a very specific truck that's been missing for a little while. And I'm going to be debuting to you guys probably the sickest setup of dually wheels you've ever seen on what is the Chevy GMC platform. You guys remember that black dually that kind of somewhat disappeared to Sean's a little while ago? We're picking it up today. And the wheels finally arrived from Standout Specialties. Genuinely, the single and only reason I never went Duramax dually was because I never envisioned a setup of wheels that I knew was just elite in every single way, shape, and form until this setup today. Ladies and gentlemen, it is going to pop. It's going to look so sick. You're going to see a small teaser of it in the beginning of this video. And then at the end, you're going to see the full reveal. We got a lot to accomplish and we got to go. But first, how about a semi-cold start on the Denali? Yeah, I think so. It's a little long overdue and it's finally getting cold out, which I'm weirdly excited about. But daylight savings, not excited about at all. Yes, yes, yes. These switchback headlights from Philip Fast Headlights, so sick. I love them. The coordination of the actual turn signal as running light and turn signal at the same time, orange to white, it's just so, so right. Now also don't forget about that thing if you want to enter for it. It's very simple. Check out enthusiast.com. We have a line of entirely new flannels, which I know that you guys have been asking for and missing. We've also got new hats on the site. And be on the lookout for a whole bunch of new other things that have been backed by oh so popular requests. High idle season as we jump behind the cockpit of the Denali. I am extremely excited about the 2024 revisions that just released. They look so good and the interiors are a much needed change, but I'll be honest with you guys, for as controversial as the quote disappointment was of the release of these interiors, they just really make sense and everything works really, really well. The colors on these screens are still amazing. And I love the driving position of these new GM trucks. I know I'm Dirty Max Jack. I know I may come forward with a bias. I'm really not. I'm just saying I really like the driver position in these trucks. Dudes, driving through Lancaster City is awesome. Awesome. Lancaster's like the littlest, biggest city to ever exist. There are so many things down here from restaurants to rad stores and a bunch of micropreneurial mindset. There's a market, there's a whole bunch of stuff. And I actually have to drive through the city to get down to Peach Bottom, which I don't necessarily enjoy doing with a trailer on all the time, but I'm also so grateful to live right next to a place like this because as you exit Lancaster, which is gonna take three minutes to do, you're back in farm fields. That way, same thing that way, same thing that way, and same thing that way. So what I'm saying is don't ever come to Lancaster. It absolutely sucks. That way I can just keep it off for myself. Guys, we have arrived. The dually's in front of me. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little look. There's a very small teaser that you're gonna see now, which is actually a hint at where we're going later in the video. You don't wanna click off of it because what you're about to see is gonna be game changing for how you've perceived the 2020 plus body style Duramaxes from this point going forward. And you'll see why halfway right now. So I got some work to do, but boys, 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 this is going to be the sickest looking dually you've ever seen ever. And I got to do this in compliment to celebrate an iconic dually that was on the channel forever ago, which was Dream Diesel Giveaway number three. Do you guys remember what number three was? It was a legendary vehicle. Happened to be a dually, happened to be red, happened to be a cat eye. It was Ron Bergen dually. And we celebrated Ron Bergen dually with a set of 22 by 12 up front, quote, super singles. And we needed to do this setup in commemoration of that truck nearly three years ago. At this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at the Tour Down High Country and the part setup wheels. Yes, guys, these right here are a huge step for us on the channel because not only are they our first ever set of American Force Super Singles, they're also the first ever set that we've gotten that are 26s and we are running these things on a four inch lift kit with a 37, 13 and a half, 26 tire and I'm not making that up. It's legitimately happening and it's working very well. We are so crazy for trying to accomplish this, but I really wanted to push the limits on what this truck is and what it's going 
going to turn into. So we have the front wheels down here. Actually, the guys at Standout Specialties brought them down specifically for this occasion. And in the later half of this video, we're actually going to be taking the truck to another destination to get the rear wheels to get them put on. You're not going to want to miss what it's going to look like. I'm personally so excited. Sean, are you so excited? Oh, I can't wait. He's extremely excited. He's jumping out of his jacket to this point in time. <laughs> and we are going to just see how absolutely menacing and how much it's going to transform this truck into what this crazy mind and this crazy man is trying to accomplish. So these wheels right here are the factory gloss black from American Force Plagues in a 26, what they call concave super dually forged setup that is 10 lug, yes. Now this is not 10 lug for the front of the GM truck because it's actually an eight lug hub, but it has a 10 lug adapter which matches up to the back, which will be a 10 lug adapter that goes onto the eight lug axle that gives us the ability to mount up some absolutely massive hardware to keep those rear wheels on. Now the stance on this thing looks awesome. About half of the wheel is out, half of the wheel is in, which is what I like to shoot for, especially when specking wheels on all the other trucks. Now this is a 14 wide, so it's a 26 by 14. It is by no means a small wheel, but we got it to turn, which is absolutely insane. And a 37 for my GM guys, you know that that is a stretch that's a feat, but it's an accomplishment now in the vlog. We just proved it to you guys. The stance is absolutely perfect, half in, half out. And that brings us to the back. When we get these wheels mounted on the rear, it is going to take this dually ace and accentuate it in the perfect complementing fashion. Those things should stick out somewhere around there. Although I must and say it's rather enjoyable to look at this thing. Look at the comparison. Factory wheels, aftermarket wheels. Yes, I know I say it all the time. I've said it over the years. It's crazy what one set of wheels can do for a truck. And you can really see the difference that it makes for this freaking sick high country dually platform that we have right here in front of us. All right, if you can't tell, I'm just a little bit excited. Now, I got to get back down to ground level because these guys are trying to get the headliner down. It's actually quite a pain in the butt on these 2020 plus GM trucks. You pretty much have to disassemble the entire head unit assembly, which requires all the mounting hardware for the headliners, the trim pieces that can the sunroof and all the other things right there. And then all of these moldings, you gotta take the A-pillars off, expose all of that, and essentially strip down the entire upper half of the cab because the headliner is one piece. We have to do that because the GM engineers decided to make it difficult for us to tin out that already somewhat weird maroon third brake light. And if you're like me and you love cab lights, you still love them, but you have to fight for them because they come factory black, but we need to get them off anyway because this truck is actually going for a color change. And we wanted to make some changes to it. So the cab lights have to come out, that shark fin has to come off and all of that requires what these guys are working on right now which is just ripping apart my brand new truck I don't know what we do best. <laughs> <laughs> well that's how i freaking love you guys so that is the byproduct you literally have to take the entire headliner down all the a b and c pillars out just to get to the actual back spoiler which is right there then to remove the third brake light jim come on why are you guys doing the aftermarket like that come on we like to play with these things all right we're jumping on in it's gonna be interesting as you can see oh ah sunroofs I knew that they were a convenience. No mirrors, no visibility, straight back. Ah, the behind the scenes of building a truck from top to bottom. <laughs> This trailer is freaking sweet though. It's not as fancy as a gooseneck, but honestly, function is really what it's all about. I'm like halfway away from the team lunch that Sean does for his employees at one o'clock on Friday. They got the table set up and I got places to be, people to see and wheels to put on that gargantuan beauty right there behind me. So I'm gonna run on somewhat of an empty stomach until we get to our next destination. Yeah, I'll pick up some food along the way. I felt the need to update you guys about that mostly because I typically like hanging down here and hanging out with the Peach Bottom fam, but trucks need modded and I gotta go. Ladies and gentlemen, on to our next pit stop. We are over here now at 1235 Loop Road, AKA Accelerate Auto. Also the new facade for what's up and coming. I know I've been saying that a lot lately, but I can't tell you guys what it is yet. Although I really want to just wait, great things come with time. And that reveal is coming as soon as those that control other variables that I can't control approve those variables so I can tell you guys. So we're greeted with a gorgeous sight. We've got the Denali on the factory wheels, which I know that you guys love. Big old beefy tires. It's that work truck look with the dually on the back. Look at how sick that thing looks. Oh my God, man. This is just just a small foreshadow teaser of what's to come. Imagine those wheels matching in the back. And then we're greeted with Dream Diesel Giveaway 28. We got Jake and Josh that are gonna meet us down here. We're gonna get this thing unloaded and we are gonna get to work putting those rear wheels on.
gentlemen. Oh my goodness, is all I have to say right now. Luckily, Jake and Josh responded because, man, I needed every ounce of their help to get these massive 26 dualies installed in the rear. These things are not light, but they're so right. They look absolutely insane. I've actually taken about an hour's worth of time to admire how absolutely sinister and badass this setup is looking before I could actually turn the camera on because I really needed to kind of pull it together a little bit, for lack of a better word. Obviously, the sick octagon lights above the truck make it look so sinister, so grueling, so absolutely badass looking. And I'm just going to take a minute to breathe because this right here is the beginning of what's going to be the sickest high country dually ever. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say it. Literally, that I've ever seen. In my personal humble opinion, I know I really like to fake it to make it in so many different retrospects and what it is that I do, but man, this is the proper setup for a high country dually without a question of a doubt in my mind. So I went over the fronts and how they mount up to the actual eight lug. The rear is actually also very interesting because there are adapters that convert it to 10 lug with a 33 millimeter standard semi lug nut that's hidden right up under these caps right here. But the inside of it's very interesting. It's not symmetrical from the eight lug to the 10 lug because they have different patterns. Some look different than others. That was, I don't even, I, you catch my drift. So these wheels go on only one specific way, meaning you can't just marry up the studs to the holes. You have to line them up to the specific pattern to get everything to fit together perfectly. Like I said earlier, we're on a 3713 526 amp tire. This is the first time I'm ever going to be running these. In the short time that I took to turn it around, it seems like they're decent tires, but that's not really the best way to get a first impression. Although I've had a lot of friends run these and they've been very happy with them. It's sick because they're 37, 13 and a half versus 12 and a half, 426, which a lot of the big name manufacturers like your Toyos, your Nittos just don't offer and seem like they don't want to offer ever. So we're running exactly one half inch of spacing in between the dualies, which gives us adequate clearance between the tires. Because if you have your CDL, you know that a major cause of fires is tire rubbing. And we don't have any of that at all. Now we do have the big old cap here in the center covering up the hub. I love the center caps on the American Force dually wheels. They just really make a statement. Now you can also admire the fact that the stance in the back is almost complement to the stance in the front. It's very similar. It's not exact. This probably sticks in a little bit more, but these are eight and a quarter inch wide wheels versus that big 26 by 14 up front. I just can't help but smile. This moment right here, this feeling, the excitement of seeing this setup literally coming together is so satisfying because when I said I'm gonna get a four inch Cognito lift and I'm gonna stuff a 37 inch tire under it on 26 by 14s up front, I even thought that I was crazy, but I had this weird gut intuition and I just had to follow it. Thank you tremendously to the team over at Standout Specialties for helping us out all along. They actually hand delivered the front wheels down to the guys at Peach Bottom to save me an hour and a half trip. And in the back, they actually brought the back ones over right here to accelerate yesterday evening so we could do exactly what we're doing today. So this video was very much made possible by Peach Bottom Accelerate and Standout Specialty. No sponsors or formalities. It's just that the team really came together to deliver so we could throw that touchdown pass, which is this video right now. They actually didn't want to deliver all six wheels because the truck that they had wasn't actually able to accommodate all six massive wheels that these things are. All right, so what are you guys thinking about the setup? Do you like where it's going? Right now, honestly, we could just button this entire truck back up, black it out, and call it the Murder Max, but it's not actually quite done yet, although that would be very sick. That's not the direction that this truck is headed. Rather, we've got something even more in mind. So I'm actually heading off back into my new office. There's a few deliveries that just took place, so I'm gonna have to work on getting this place set up in the meantime. If you follow me on Instagram, you had already seen this spot, but if you don't, you should. I can show you guys around real quick. So this is my old desk. I actually brought it down here. I've got another monitor that I had left over and an extra printer that I brought down as well. I'm working on getting this space set up. We're gonna make it super chill. I'm gonna get some couches in here. We're gonna get a very neat collaborative space going because there's going to be a whirlwind of magic that happens right here. It's also pretty sick because I have my own little executive entrance right here and if I open up my shades got my own spot right out there whether it be the wagon the Denali or one of the giveaway trucks that's where I'm gonna be parking so that's where we're going to sign off. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you as always for watching and following along on this absolutely glorious day in Lancaster. I'm so grateful to have you guys as part of this YouTube channel. And man, I truly love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't considered doing so already. Grab some entries for Dream Just Giveaway 28. And I'll see y'all this upcoming week.